Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice Point 8. Okay. See, Germany is now sort of centered it there, oddly. Now interesting. Okay. Now, again, manually fired, but for reasonably appropriate timing. The ERR in Smolensk. The ER confiscated large amounts of books and artwork in Smolensk and the rest of Belarus. While some of the goods were shipped to Germany, many were burned. One million books, including rare and old volumes, were not yet located. So they've, there are over a million books that are not yet located from the Smolensk um, pillaging. And um, you know, the way we know about some of this is the Germans' own records of, I don't know that they had, you know, a million entries of each of these books, but they, I'm sure when they confiscated it, confiscated any sort of card catalog or other catalog with them, as well as just simply recording all of the books, you know, in the sense of, you know, a thousand books, 10,000 books, a hundred thousand books or whatever. And, um, you know, in shipments and crates, and they, they were shipped, and there's no records of where they are. So, artworks and books from Smolensk. ERR in Brussels. Much of the ER pillage in Belgium concentra concentrated on Jewish private collections and the Jesuit colleges. The latter were subjected to loot because the Nazis considered them outposts of French culture and unfriendly to the Reich. The books taken from the Jesuits were um, ceded to the Zentral der Anti-Deutsches Spiesel, Anti-National Socialist Information, the Center for Anti-German and Anti-National Socialist Information. So, We get a bit of more revolt risk for a while in Belgium. And this like should have happened in mid late nineteen forty, so it sort of will be effects of the pillaging out a bit more. Okay, well let's continue push. Oh yeah, I see that they were coming here. Now does this directly affect your uh, Okay, no, we want you to continue to strategically redeploy to here. And we'll start attacking once we get to this mega province. I think we'll do well once we get there. start pushing this way. Better to attempt at least to cut these guys off. Well, these guys are forced back. And no supply, not because they're bad leadership. Stop that Moscow attack or not. Though, thank you so much.
Political indoctrination. Okay. That's here. Okay, well. Don't know if it helps if you can't get food and ammo for your troops. I will indoctrinate you all. Mentioning that or any of these civil defense, we could do that. That would help with repair rate for the road. Home front. Now we're doing better. The production rate. Let's start with this. Hmm. Upgrades. Something else I must have just hit. Oh, some of their liners. I think they've been bouncing around here. Well, that's they're coming that way, so these guys can come down. This way. Okay, we just lost this province to these guys here. Why are they waiting for supplies? Today?
Yeah. Italy, Italy, energy, sure, the money. Heading out by a securitous, securitous group. Right. That means these guys can support the attack here. And unit combined arms. That's excellent. Send you down this way. And you as well. And we've got a lot. You just get me a lot sooner. I think we're going to stop this. We're going to wait to get some more units. Hopefully more supply. We 
the, uh, the first real battle of Moscow has ended and we didn't we weren't victorious. I don't know if that's quite a defeat, but it isn't doing super well. Yes, I'm trying to break up these stacks. There. And there as well, they're counterattacking out, seeing why we stopped. No, let's occupy this because we need the, somebody in supply to be attacking. These guys need to get moving. The training type is in. Don't really matter much.
Sorts of these units. Okay, still a little ways, still a little ways. Oh, the fighters, yeah. Those are nice, but. How are we doing here? We're going to go through and let's get you out of battle. Fighting. And still. There's a new supplies get out to me. Okay, artillery unit combined arms, that's excellent. did bump into some British units. So that's, and I sent these guys over this way. Test what the moon. Disrupting your troops only helps me, so go ahead and attack. has gone right slow as weather because I think we have um, mud situation right here now. Should be set up everybody. Oh good. Another collapsed. Well, let's start our assault. That will help us with um, supplies. Once we get our canes, we can send supplies directly that way. To the north. 
not counting on it's the right word, but hoping for it is most assuredly. Oh good, we've got an article. So, let's see. Yeah, it's, oh, it's improved a little bit. It's at level 2 now, but let's see. Get you back to your headquarters. down because all these guys are marching across. Put the brave Danes over here. Well, he's up to level 5. We should really be switching some of these guys around soon. Maybe once the Soviet campaign is done. Revolt risk by some of these guys, so it's okay, it's not being any lost to revolt risk, and we have been, so that's good. What are we doing down here? These guys are no, they're not there. Oh, there we go. Okay. The commander pull the wave. Followed by the vent. Vegan can do it. Okay. Deploy to there. There. You're just going up there. I think we will send you over there as well. You can help us occupy places. We should be also strategically redeploying. Occupy, that's good. Oh, we're here now. Great. What is it that we're facing the headquarters? There is just two, but also chromium, which we don't have that as a um, resource right now. Or strategic effect or something, whatever you call it. Well, go. Good. This is from the Gulf of Finland leadership and resources plus five percent. Great. Great. <coughs> That's the Narva thing. So, which obviously resources is sort of automatic, but leadership. 
Now, what we're going to do here is... Because we're down at 105. 105 is still very good, but let's... Do that in diplomacy. We are... Just a little more than we need. And spies, well, we, can, we don't have much of a bonus there, but let's do that. Now let's put that up there a little bit better. Okay. Obviously, rares are not limiting us right now. Okay, we're massively, well, we're massively overdone on supplies, but I do think, and again, I don't know if there's any, I've not yet seen a good um, determinant of what exactly, or how to, you know, how to deal with this here. Get this to be more. don't know. I know they're, you know, because obviously we have oil. To be converted. Okay, well, you guys released. You know, need to move west. What as big as this? Ooh! Ten. Okay. So we need to put that on there. We start building that up. Just this one. Page. Good enough to also throw one on there. Because really, quite honestly, right now, we don't need any more units. I've got more units in the east than I can supply. Um, you know, I mean, I still sort of need need a bunch here, but... I really should sort of see about... Sending some west or some other direction. But I'm not sure that doing so would mean that I have enough supply for what's here. Because I'm far from sure of the idea that this is primarily a too many units, not enough supplies getting their situation as opposed to simply supplies not being able to travel that far because of things like the supply tax because out here most of this stuff is happening because I'm overrunning the supply
Well, they near shatter or shatter enough units, we can maybe reattack because a lot of just a few well organized units. Won't do that too fast. I want these guys to shatter first. Preferably without shutting that. They should need to be down. Well, let's let's see. Right let's kind of attack. Well, okay, we're coming down here, so you can get a cut off all of those guys. You slide up that. Yes, I don't Sweden, 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 Sweden. Yes, you may have a question. Well, this attack allows me to take Moscow, oh, that's good.
I sort of like to do it before this winter comes. It's a little bit of a I'm sure. God, this is just killing me here. Because it was. Any of these we want to do now? No, not really. This was going to start retreating because once that retreat is they're never going to get get in so you can't really move in here but let's see is that infantry yes this one well 12th so they have an extra slot now that will be reinforced because this on its own doesn't do much at all just so you if you don't already know that um what it does do as you can see here, um, its soft attack is just one. That's hardly anything. Air attack, basically that it has any aircraft guns around it, is all that it does. But what it does do is fort attack. Magnifies the fort attack. That's what it does. Fort defense, it helps there. Urban attack, it magnifies it. All out of proportion to its scale. So... Now that we are part of that, or it's part of us, and now we have the armor, our tigers, that will help the besieging, and SS troops should also help. Let's just make sure we don't... Oh, we have armor here now? Or is that just you? That's just you. Oh, we do have armor. Oh, you joined us. Okay. Yeah. Infantry, well, oh, those 
help. The report faster helps too. Okay, fighter ground control. Radar. Good. I haven't built as nearly as many radars as I want to. Don't know if I if the should comes into it, but want to. Okay, um ground control. Let's see. Um hmm. Yeah, attack pilot trim, we've got lots of them. So well, we're going to end the episode here. I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to thank you for liking the videos, if you would, please. Uh, of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And, um, of course, post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. I love hearing from you. See you next time for more Arts of Iron.